Hey neighbors, welcome back. This is Saturday. It's been a couple of days since I dropped a video for you, but uh, I figured I'd go ahead and do it today. And with this outstanding natural light, I figured I'd do it outside. Well, in the Ubermobile. Not driving Uber today. I uh, I went ahead and had to hunt down breakfast for the um, for the uh, oh, um, product placement. Um, had to hunt down breakfast for the uh, for the wife and the children. Um, and drop the dog off at the groomer's. So Josie's at the groomer's, she's getting a bath. Uh, she's gonna look, um, well, normal for a day and then she'll be back to Josie. So anyway, thought I'd drop a video today. I sent out that router I talked about in my last video. Uh, I ended up making $3 on it, which um, which is okay for something that I use. I didn't buy it at a thrift store. It was something that was sitting in my garage, just taking up space. So after shipping, um, I'm making about $3 on it. So have fun with it whoever it's going to uh down there in orlando yesterday on the way home from school i feel like i've got like a oh, no, there I've got a hat on right there yesterday on the way home from school i passed by the two thrift shops that have been closed and uh, are continuing to be closed um so i went to the third thrift shop now this this other thrift shop i've been in one time it's a it's a little place off to the side of the road but he is packed with stuff and I went in there and looked around a little bit and um, got a, went a little bit on gut on a couple of things and I'll, I'll show those to you in just a minute. Um, but I ended up walking out of there with about seven or eight items that I'm gonna throw up online this morning and send them out there. And then I'm driving to Athens for Allstate course. That's Athens, Georgia, uh, the classic city, home of UGA. Uh, and so while I'm there, after I do my Allstate chorus duty, I will be stopping off at a thrift shop up there and seeing what the students have donated um, and maybe make a make a dollar or two off of that. So anyway, hang with me today. It's got to be an awesome day. Howdy, neighbors. Welcome back to the eBay basement. eBay basement bay. eBasement. eBay. I like eBasement. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Go over here and like and subscribe subscribe please subscribe to my channel that way you get updates whenever i post videos uh today is going to be what i found today uh, i went thrifting yesterday as i just told you so i'm going to show you what i found and what i plan to put it online for and uh, you tell me whether i made a mistake or not um first up i got this blue opal forest harmony jigsaw puzzle and relaxing cd 51 minute cd set um Picked it for two dollars, and I think I can probably do twenty dollars free shipping on it. Um, so not bad. This I'm gonna use. Uh, it, it, it's I'm gonna use the word vintage. I don't know that it's vintage. I'll, I'll I'll look it up first. But it's a coat of color puzzle, and actually it's two puzzles. That's on one, and that is the other, and they're both thousand piece puzzles. Picked this for four dollars, I guess, because it's two puzzles. Still sealed, never been opened. And this, I'm gonna ask again, twenty dollars free shipping. This Bryce Canyon National Park. That does not look like an easy jigsaw puzzle to do. Um, I and also this one, the the tranquility kit was sealed. This is still sealed. Never been opened. So. Um, this I picked for $2. I'm going to ask again for $20 free shipping on that. Somebody in one of the videos just recently said never pass up ink. I think it was part-time pickers. So I found this, picked it for $3. Uh, I'll check on the prices I can go for maybe $12, $13. It's still in date. Um, so I'll, I'll make sure to put that up. The next thing I got, uh, this was the, the largest amount that I paid today were these women's Merrill laser hiking boots in excellent condition. Uh, inside, you can still see there's no wear. I don't know if you can see that. You can see there's no wear on the name. Um, there's no wear on this part of the, of the shoe or the boot. Uh, these were manufactured in 1993. And uh, so I'm gonna put them up and call them vintage. Uh, they're a size eight, women's eight wide eight wide and um the bottom's look in great condition so i'll put this up for 24.90 24.99 see what i can do 24.99 i may charge shipping on these or maybe 29.99 free shipping and uh and send these out uh in a flat rate priority box 
uh, maybe I don't know. Um, but the I, I thought these were going to be a great deal. I paid twenty dollars for them, uh, thinking that I could get upwards of fifty. But the comps are showing right around thirty. So I may take a little bit of a loss with these, but they are in excellent condition. So I don't know. You tell me. And then this little lightweight hooded sweatshirt, Aeropostale, size small. Um, I'm guessing that's an adult small. And it was $1. And the comps are running around $8 to $10. So I'll, I'll do that. That's not vintage. That's 2017. This is a Tommy Hilfiger. So you can see the label right there. Tommy Hilfiger polo shirt in 3XL in amazing shape for being manufactured in 2000. It's got the Hilfiger crest on it right there. Um, 3XL, beautiful shape, not faded, not stained, uh, looks barely worn. Um, but again, I can probably get about 10 to $12 on that um, free shipping. This was my favorite acquisition. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a Crimson Tide fan, but this jacket uh, was seven dollars. You see it's Alabama. It's heavy-duty coat. I guess on the back. It's got the the Crimson Tide elephant uh, What is their mascot their mascots an elephant and it's a tide just like Auburn confuses me They're the Auburn Tigers, but have an eagle You Alabama people confuse me, but anyway, I bought this And I like the fleece lining inside and I noticed that the zipper was a little unusual and then I realized it was because it is reversible. So we pull that through, and we pull that through, turn the hood inside out, and now we have a hooded sweatshirt with Crimson Tide on the inside. So it says Crimson Tide on the inside. It says Alabama on that side. So this was picked for $7. I think I can ask maybe $27, $20, $26, $27, $30 uh, off of it, maybe $40. And, uh, and uh, we'll see what happens. It's in great condition. I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with this, this coat at all. There's no picks. There's no stains. Um, the tag is a little frayed, but that's the tag. It's, 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 it's supposed to be frayed. So anyway... Um, it is in awesome condition. So this I'm gonna ask for upwards, eh, around $30, $35, we'll see. Um, so anyway, I spent $40 on the whole with everything. So we'll see how that shakes out. I'll do another video later and let you know. But uh, I'm gonna put some of these up right now as soon as my computer stops being weird. Put some of these up online right now. And then I've got to drive to Athens, like I said, for the Allstate Chorus thing. And while I'm at Athens, I will stop at a, at a thrift store, and that'll be in the next video. Thank you very much for looking um, today. Keep reading. Keep reading. Um, I'm going to come out with a new book tomorrow on One Take Sunday. And that book I will share with you what I'm reading this week. Um, some of you may not be able to read a book a week. That's awesome. That's fine. But um, whatever you do, keep reading. Because... You need to learn what people have done before you in order to be doing it more efficiently. Like I would have never, I would have never have known to look for printer ink. Printer, but why, why printer ink? But I saw it in a video. I would have never known to look for still in box puzzles sealed and make good money on them except that I saw it in a video. I found out from somebody who's doing what I want to do so I could do what they do, follow their lead, and live like they live. So I appreciate you. Shout out to Shani Sells. I appreciate your conversation yesterday. Look forward to having more. Um, and I appreciate the hint. She talked about free, uh, free sourcing boxes and putting it on Facebook Marketplace. Hey, this is my business. This is what I do. If you get boxes from uh, Amazon or eBay, please hold on to them. I'll come pick them up. So that's another great way to free source your boxes. Thank you, Shani, for that, uh, for that, uh, for that tip. So anyway, <clears throat> see y'all later. Appreciate you. See you next.